Someone said that's your signature. No, but, so. Yeah, but it's cafe. Scoodles. What's good guys, it's your girl Kyra Gray and welcome to the first episode of Come Paint With Me, a show where we get up close and personal with your favourite creative personalities. But there's a twist, yeah? Because we're going to be taking part in different challenges, earning points along the way, all of which add up to our last challenge, which is something that we like to call Paint My Portrait which is very self-explanatory. My guest is going to paint me, I'm going to paint my guest, and you know what? The production team and you guys at home are going to let us know who has the best one. You're going to let us know who needs to stay and who needs to run go. Okay, so our first guest is someone who has taken the internet and the cooking world by storm. He has cooked over 50 gourmet dishes and has racked up over a million views on Instagram and TikTok. And he's who your boyfriend goes to for inspo for your first date, yeah? So please, let's give a very warm welcome to Natty Can Cook. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you for inviting me. You're welcome. Are you excited? Yeah, man, I'm ready to go, man. Right, so our first game is what we like to call 10 second doodles. Mm -hmm. So, in this cup is multiple things. I don't even know what I wrote down, honestly. Okay. But you're going to pick it out, you're going to show the camera what it is, and you have 10 seconds to draw it. Yeah. And these guys are going to decide who has the best one. Okay. I'm ready. From when you say da 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 da, you have 10 seconds to draw it. You so know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, we'll we'll yeah, be yeah. prepared. It yeah, won't I be. Get you, I get you. you won't be able to scream cheat if I win. You'll, you'll lose. You're light skinned, you're a cheater. <laughs> Past experiences. I just, you know, the science behind that is throwing me. It's throwing me, you know? But let's get into it because I'm ready for you to lose. Great? Okay. Fantastic. Right, ready? I'm ready. You're first. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Puffer jacket. <laughs> Matty's looking too meaty. <laughs> no, wait, wait. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, the little fleece, if that was... If I'd have put the puma sign, you'd have been rocking it. That's why I put CG, Canada Goose, innit? Oh, like... you're a bag, you're a bag! You're a bag! Right, so, quick buzz. I think it's quite obvious. Yeah, don't mock it. If you pick the Christmas tree, we're scrapping. She ain't got a zipper, Exactly! What is that, some blouse? First of all, first of all, first of all, some jackets are no, pullover. No, bro, that's a blouse. Yeah. What the fuck is that? At least I got the zip. One zip! What's, what, you, know the, you, know the, you know the little night thing? You're taking the piss because he actually just drew. All right, he, let's do a vote one at a time then. You know, I'm mocking it, man. Nighty for the win, come on, man. Yeah, well, nice. yeah, yeah come, come. Okay, cool. And here we have. Don't, don't, <laughs> be, don't be silly. Let's be smart. I don't get peer pressure now. Natty! Magnesium? Yeah, it's calm, it's calm, it's calm, it's calm. Crumble the patriarchy, yeah? Natty, that's the only reason why is because he actually drew a zip. Because of a fucking zip. Yeah. So everyone's trying to have excuses because of a fucking zip. Is everyone all right? Because you, how are you going to put it on, babe? You know, I don't want to hear your voice anymore, yeah? Um, niggas already, I should even write Natty for the win. Who? I don't know, I'm going for Kyle. Thank you! Oh, no. Look at the arms, don't cheat! No, 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 that's so dead. Zoom in on the arm. Yeah, look, I'm rocking this, my thing. I can't even draw the puma sign. <laughs> Clearly the production team is made predominantly of men. Um, so they have gone with Natty because everyone's bad vibes. Crumble the patriarchy. Um, what the hell is that? <laughs> You're taking Next the piss. Season, he drew a Christmas tree with a zip. Drop. Right. Spaghetti and meatballs. Two. Oh, 
I already started. What? Cheating. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I lost this one. Ready for a reveal? Yeah. Two, one. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's a cool look, spaghetti, I mean meatballs, 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 and that's the random spaghetti. It's, it's refined, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but yours doesn't look much better, I can't lie to you. Right, but someone said that's your signature. No, but, so... Yeah, but he's capping. Skudos. There's a very clear winner here. If you don't do it again, I'm actually just going to start breaking equipment. So let's, let's be smart. Are we ready? I want, I want votes. Immediately. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. First, first W under your, under your belt. Don't do that. A little patronising it. Oh, yay. First round went to Natty. Second round went to me. We've got one more round left. Let's see what happens. You still got confidence? You still good, yeah? Mate, you built my confidence. Before I wasn't ready, but now I'm ready. Fucking hell, gunshot. It's your turn. So let's go. Cause I'm tired of the chattings. No okay, chattings. Plant. Okay. Have you started? No. Okay. Wait, stop cheating. You cheated on the last one as well. I did not. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> It's one of them little plants. You know them little, <laughs> like them little Japanese plants. Lawit, you know them minimalistic plants. <clears throat> why are you do? Why? Why would you do an unrecognizable plant? Like, why would you not do something simple? Brother, you, you're moving like your things That's like Picasso. You just got one little leaf there. There. If I had a leaf, first of all, there, two leaves. Okay, a, it's two leaves. If I had a leaf there, you'd be in the. That's so game. shit. That's so oh, shit. Yeah. You drew a cookie and a line. <laughs> Take this guy. Get him. Can get we get the votes in, please? I don't know why you're in a rush. <laughs> can we get a vote? Can we get a vote soon, please? Can we get a vote soon? All right, cool. Thank you. Some guys that I used to know. Thank you. Thank you. Some guys that I used to know. Wow. You drew a cookie in a line. Okay, cool. That's really shit, man. I hear it. He, he lost. Yeah, gonna say it one more that time. Session. Yeah, he lost. Okay. Yeah. With the capital L. Yep. So we're gonna play another game which is something I like to call Guess My Sketch. Okay. So, you have to like draw something and you have to show it to the production team. If they guess it correctly, you get a point. <laughs> right, 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 right. To, wait, to draw that, my bro? All right, I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. I'm trying to think of my favorite movie and how can I draw it? <laughs> Your color pens on that. Is this what you're on? You didn't even try to boss me on the information. You're a fucking snake. <laughs> no, but you, you can add the pens if you want in it. They're there. All right, time. All right, all right, 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 right. Relax. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready, man. She's cheating. Everyone should chill. How about how about everyone just right. take some? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Happy feet. No. Monster munch. Bigfoot. Guys. Look at that, look at, look at the colours. Look at something, does that not remind you of anything? Guys. Yeah. It looks like Monster Munch pickled, the pickled onion flavour. You're, <laughs> You're taking the piss. You're taking the piss. He's taking, he's mocking it. He's mocking it, he's mocking it. I'm not, I'm keeping either it up. Way, either way, Shannon guessed it. So. Shannon? That's, his name's not Magnesium. Uh, that's what I'm calling my man, isn't it? <laughs> Mago. I got two points for this round. So we're gonna Just go looking on. looking like Monster Munch though, serious. See if you can do better, and then I'll I'll listen to you after. Let's see. If he draws toast, I'm gonna bang out. I can't lie, this, this looks so meaty. Yeah, it looks meaty. I can't lie, I've lost this round. Monster Munch versus... 
I feel like there's a part of me that might know what he's attempting to do. A pizza? What, dough balls? And then try to try to get upset at everyone else because they can't get it. What the hell is that? I was trying to switch it. No, no, it's not that, man. Nachos? No, it was meant to be roti and curry, but you know. That, but look, wait, 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 let me break it down, let me break it down. So cool. I'm meant to draw detailed curry mutton on this little... You could have drawn a goat. You know, looks... He could have drawn a big piece of roti. Why did you draw two triangles? I thought it was cheese and grapes. That would have slapped as well. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Okay, I can do that. Time. Okay. Put down, put down. Hey, 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 hey. Yo, 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 it's down. It's down. What the fuck is that? Oh my golly gosh. Bart Simpson. Thank you. Wait, that's like a collab of Bart Simpson <laughs> and fucking. Um, and what's the thing out of um, Ed and Eddie? The plank. Why are you trying to that's talk about? They gave me the point already, bro. Where's his ass? I missed that, you know. I did actually miss. So he's a blind Bart looking like plank, and you're drawing but, more. But she guessed okay, it. But, cool. Which is the right. hey, yeah. Okay. You sound a bit bitter over there, Natty. You all right? Oh come on. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Animals are easy to guess though, man. I'm ready still. Oh, fuck the time. He didn't even he, take all I the time. I don't even need the timing, bro. Shit. The I castle know thing, shit. yeah? Eternal. Come on, Tortuga. So with those two rounds done, I'm currently in the lead. Shock. Yeah, with Only five points. Only by two points, points though. Huh? Only by two points. It's still better than three though, isn't it? It's, it's better than it's better than what you have, isn't it? Yeah. But do you know what? You can actually redeem it, because in the next section you can get five points. Okay, I'm ready. You I'm won't, done. but you can. So this is paint my portrait, yeah? So you're gonna paint me, and I'm gonna paint you. You're gonna be mad. I'm not gonna be mad <laughs> if you don't take the piss. You can make it funny. I'm do you know what? I'm actually gonna do it with pure intentions. So will I. Okay, I'm on. not gonna mock it. Okay. Yeah? So you have paint, you have pens. Use as you please. So whilst we're doing that, I'm just going to be asking you some questions as well, because I know a lot of people are really interested to get to know you, you know? So I'm down just let it spill, man. Yeah. Let it out. All right, cool. For those who don't know, who is Natty Can Cook? My name's Nathaniel. Yeah. I'm 28. Yeah. I'm going to start joining you from now, you know? I'm trying to get a head start. Um, yeah, I'm a chef from Peckham. Mm -hmm. I've been doing this thing for like 11 years. Like fine dining restaurants, like Mission Star restaurants. I started off in a restaurant called Oblix in the Shard. Fancy, isn't it? Fancy, yeah. 18 year old, look oh, at that. Oh, cheeky. Fancy. Yeah. yeah. Um, then from there, I went to a Michelin starred restaurant, which was one of the most challenging things I've ever done. I was a very high position at a young age. Okay, I was the yeah, only yeah. black eat in there. Okay. So that's from, that's from Peckham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So niggas are saying like shit like, oh, what, do you know Stormzy? <laughs> like, oh, do you stab people? Yeah, like, yeah, you know, it's yeah, just yeah. very much, it's very much like a middle classy type or like people that have been to private school and whatnot, or it's just bare foreign dons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what made you want to get into cooking? Um, I was just in bare fuckies when I was younger and then my mum and my aunt kind of gave me an ultimatum because I got kicked out of college, my first college. Mm -hmm. Like, I was very intelligent, but I was just more like, I just got caught up in the wrong side of life, you know what I mean? Then I started making money from it. From the cooking? Yeah, and that's it. I said, yeah, like, you know what, like, let me... And I was making good bread at it. Like, I was like 17, 18, making like 19 pounds an hour. So I was thinking, right, oh, like, okay, this, is, yeah, yeah. this is chop. Then from there, I went to do restaurants. You know, I'm so bad at multitasking. No, it's fine, it's fine. Take your time, take your time. Concentrate. Don't fuck up my hairline. I can't lie, we're not even there yet, darling. You're <laughs> going to be so pissed off. Scheme. Yeah, so I got involved in it. So I was going to Lucian College. Started... <laughs> yeah, but no, don't say it like that. It was actually a decent little school. What college did you go to? I actually went to sixth form um, yeah. in Bromley. It was Hayes. Went to Hayes. Okay, well, that was out in the stick somewhere. Tractors and that. <laughs> <coughs> I didn't start taking the, the chef thing serious until I had one head chef. Mm. And one day he pulled me to the side and he was like, 
he was from Canada. I'm never going to do a Canadian accent. I was about to do one, you know. I could see it in your face when <laughs> you were like, no, 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 no. I was about to do, I was about to yeah, do one. Yeah. And Donnie was like to me, yeah, like, Nat, do you want to be a commie chef your whole life or do you want to actually... And he badded man up on a serious thing. I was even sitting there thinking, on the way home, I was sitting there, bro, like, I'm grilled, man. You just slapped him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do you know what I mean? Like, 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 do you know what it is with the chefing thing? You've got to be very passionate about it. Like, if you're not passionate about it, it's just like... Why am I hot in this kitchen? Why are you doing it? Because yeah, yeah. you work 15 hours a day, get shouted at. It's like being in the army, because it's, 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 it's about hierarchy, innit? So obviously, people that follow you on social media know that you have quite a crazy story. Like, they know that you've gone to jail, they know that you've come out and you've, you've created this whole life for yourself. So I just want to dive straight into the deep end. What were the events that led to you getting arrested? Oh man. I was even coming out of a party, you know that? And yeah, from that little mishap, that opened a whole can of worms, which led to me getting incarcerated. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so I did two and a half years. Mm -hmm. um, and I come out a better man. Jail, jail was an experience which I needed. Mm -hmm. As in, it made me pattern up. Like, it made me come up with a plan. Like, I knew what I wanted to do in terms of, like, social media and whatnot. Obviously, yeah, I always yeah, thought yeah. about, cool, I know I can cook on social media because there's no... Mixed race youths really do. There's it. no one else here like that. There, there's no really black youths, like, 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 it's just yeah. all white youths. Because I kind of had my plan before I went to prison, so I knew that, rah, cool, if I get incarcerated, I went to eat at a restaurant called The Clink, which is actually in Brixton prison. Mm -hmm. So I knew that if man goes there, <clears throat> I'm essentially going to be cooking my whole bird. Okay. Bird means sentence, isn't it? Like, just so yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and. <laughs> nothing, there's nothing on my body that would require that, that circle that you just drew. Let me tell you that now. I have no idea what you've just done. Was it called contour or what them fuck you did? Is like... that what you're trying to do? You're taking the piss. So when I knew that, cool, I was getting incarcerated, I said, cool, let me go to eat at this restaurant. The food standard was decent. So I ended a competition, cooking competition. Okay. And I made it to the final of Young Chef of the Year. Literally, like, the final was the week after I got sentenced. <clears throat> from 500 chefs down to like 10 chefs like that's crazy yeah um then so when i've gone to prison now i was on them i'm saying to them raw i need to go to brixton that's it like that's all i care about so i've got shipped out there managed to get the job within like two three days so what was it like cooking in jail so i went to the thing called a job fair okay so when you first go past the induction wing you go into this thing in the middle of a hall and it's just like there's all these different job opportunities, like painting and decorating, food, this, that, da, 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 fitness. Mm -hmm. And I went to the brother and I said to him, bro, Google my thing. <clears throat> I said, bro, Google my thing. You That's want, me, you want me in your restaurant. 100%. Within two days, I had a job in there. Simple. So in terms of like making nice food and keeping up the talent and whatnot, yeah, it was popping. Because you're serving outside customers. Yeah, so yeah. like people are coming in there that I knew that were outside customers and mum was able to then float in the restaurant and see them and whatnot, like... Would you say that jail changed you for the better? It changed me for the better because it made me realise what I need to achieve in my life. Okay. And that... Helped you focus a bit. I'm wasting my time doing fuckery. Yeah. Because really and truly, God has blessed me with a talent, so it's like, why am I doing certain things when it was more out of greed than anything? I didn't really need to do that. Yeah, yeah. So when you came out of jail, what were the struggles for you? Because I feel like as soon as you came out, you kind of hit the floor running. Like you blew up on socials. Everyone's, your name is in everyone's mouth, you know? It must've been like a, a mad experience. No, do you know what it was? It was like, I came with a plan of how I was going to attack this. Okay. And I know that when I come out, I'm going to go back into work. So my old employer already said they were going to take me on board. In hospitality, it's very much a thing of like, you can get work. As long as you're not a rapist or one nonce or nothing like that, like mm -hmm. you can you can get work. A lot of people don't really know this, so this is where like it's an angle which I'm gonna attack as my life goes further. I'm gonna attack the prison system because it's like, how do you expect people to change and change their life and whatnot if they can't really get out of that hole? Like one of my brethren, he come out of jail. They were trying to ship him back to Jamaica. He couldn't get a job because they were saying he couldn't work. He's fucking. He's signing on P was like eighty six pound a week. What, what you, what's am I meant to do? You've got to go back to, you go back to doing... Yeah. So my thing is, when I get to the point, I'm going to attack the prison system and be like, cool, I'm willing to take on these people to train them. And the difference is, 
I'm not some random brother. Like, I've actually been where you men are. Like, bro, man can get out of this. Like, it's not just, oh, yeah, man's going to get, then end up in Morrison's or something like that. Like, this is actually a good job. Like, you can travel, you learn different cuisines. Like, you get bare gal. Like, <laughs> But I think this is why I think this is why you're doing so well on social media as well because so many people can relate to you. Do you know what I mean? Like you sound and talk like a lot of people, and people can relate to. No, you'll be surprised because when I think of a Michelin chef, when a lot of people think of a Michelin chef, you're not always the first person that comes to mind. Do you know? Do you know, do you know my, my amount of times I get well, you're a chef? Even I was in the lift at work earlier today. Yeah. One gal said to me, "Oh, what? You're a chef?" I said. Well, duh, like, what do you think I am? She's like, oh, you don't really look like a chef. But I said, oh, what's the chef, but I said, what does a chef look like? Exactly. So what would you say inspires all of the dishes that you make on TikTok and Instagram? There's no, there's no Michelin star Caribbean restaurants worldwide. Not one. Not one? Not one. But there's Michelin star African restaurants. Yeah. Every other cuisine, except, so it's just like, how can we make our own food sexy? And I can't lie, it's challenging. Certain dishes take me all like, Time to think about. Like I'll be think I'll literally be thinking about a dish for months. So I did one for Ray and nephew, yeah. Mm -hmm. This video, bro, we started at three or something in the afternoon. I did not finish till seven o'clock in the morning. What? Sorry, what? And then we went carnival after. Yeah, no. Nah. Mash up thing. Serious. What? What? Yeah, hundreds. So I know your DMs are mad. I already know your DMs are absolutely insane. So how yeah. are you dealing with all the? the attention that you're getting. If you're not a John, I'm not interested. If you're not a what? If you're not a John, like, if you're not nice, I'm not interested. <laughs> Just all the ladies out there, man. Yeah, did you hear him? So what, you're, not, you're not a personality person? Yeah, 100%, but you know, it's off of Instagram, yeah? So I like meeting girls face to face, like out, mm -hmm. because I can actually gauge you. Off of Instagram, it's literally one thing. I'm looking at your looks, I'm looking at your ass, like, cause gala busting it, oh yeah, angles, da 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 da. But so, Essentially, it's only providing me with one thing in it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can come with personality, but majority of girls are coming to me like, can you cook for me? Can you do this? Can you? Gal ain't even coming with me with like anything that's gonna really entice me to wanna do anything more than clarty. They're just asking you to. Yeah, you're, so you saying to me, Ra, come cook for me. I know what that means. You, you know what that means as well. Yeah, they know what that means. I, me, know, I know what that means. Exactly. So it's like, how can, I get a better aspect of you if you're only showing me vagina. <laughs> Do you know what? Good question. Good question. But maybe some girls, because I know a lot of girls might not have game like that. They're not used to approaching guys. So maybe their, their way of approaching you is, oh, but can you cook for me? Cause... Talking about cooking for me is me and you alone in a house where there's probably going to be alcohol. <laughs> it means, you it say, means cartons and then like... Okay, you, and not necessarily. I can't lie. I don't know about everyone else, but... but for me personally. So if you cook for a girl. She's busting it. You wouldn't just cook for a girl, like, but, to be nice. But you know what it is? For me to get to cook for you personally, you got yeah. me sound special in my life. Like, I'm not just cooking for you because that's a, my rate. It's a privilege. All my menu is like, what, like 180? Of course, okay. For, for my time, like, so really and truly, it's just like, cool. Gal ain't just coming for cooking. Gal are coming for clients, man. Are you single? Indeed. I can't be doing this. Are you ready? Single. You never know. You could be. <clears throat> no, I was in a relationship. Okay. But the social media type of like aspect really, I need to colour your neck. Um, <laughs> <laughs> how can I forget your neck, darling? You're taking the piss, man. You're <laughs> taking the piss. Oh my, do you know what? I just clocked her to use these colours. If you put a bit of water on it, it makes it like. Yeah, if you, the water helps, the water helps. The whole social media thing really broke the relationship. Okay. Because she wasn't able to comprehend the fact that so much gal were on me. Mm. But what do you expect? Like, I put myself in a public light now, so it's like, and on top of it, I make food, darling. Like, come and wake up, man. It's not easy. It's not easy for everyone, do you know what I mean? I feel like not everyone is, is built to have a relationship that's in the public eye or be with someone that's in the public eye because I feel like that comes with a lot. And what would you say is your type? As long as you've got a lovely personality, like, because, you know, as, as much as looks really count a lot for things, mm -hmm. it's like, if you can't engage my personality, because 
majority of the time I gobble people up. Not like that, but like, I'm, a, a, I'm an extrovert. So like, I'm gonna be like, I'm in your face. It's, like, it's, a, it's a lot to handle. So it's like, how can I be with someone who's really not giving me the same energy back? Yeah, yeah, I don't want someone who's mad timid and oh, yeah, babe, like, yeah. No, I want someone who's gonna bounce back off of me. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Um, so your type, black women, Extroverted. Yeah, no, mixed race, black women, white mixed women, race. Indian women, Chinese women. Any women. As, as long as you're nice and you've got a lovely vibe. Okay. And you don't come with some corny bars like, yeah, when are you going to cook for me? Like, come on, man. There's no creativity behind it. It's just like, it's like if I'm trying to move to a girl and I'm jumping in your DMs, like, I'm thinking of how can I move to you? Like, I'm not thinking, oh, I'm going to be like, oh, send you the eyes emojis or something. Like, bro, like, I feel like it's hard. If someone's trying to move to someone, I would never do it, like, move to someone in the public eye. That's long. Because having to think of something that's original, you probably have a thousand girls telling you the same thing every no, day. No, but you've got to come with, like, a different language or... Not a language. Yeah, bonjour, ça va. Like, it's got to come with... You've got, you got to do something different. I can't, like, I used to, I used to do all of that, like, years ago. Google Translate and that. What? You know. <laughs> I'm pretending to girls I'm French. Come on, man. <laughs> You're taking a girl out on a first on a first date, yeah? Yeah. Are you cooking for her? Or are you taking her out? Do you know what? It is? I find eating dates like going out to restaurants and that so boring. For a first date, yeah, it is a bit dead. It's fucking dead. I don't wanna, I don't do that shit. Right, third date, fourth date. I like going bowling because you know what? After each game of bowling, you've got to take five shots. No, bowling dates are lit. I saw someone on TikTok the other day say, Oh, if you're taking me out on bowling, if you're taking me to bowling on our first date. Don't even bother asking me. Shut up, And I was like, you lot haven't had a good bowling <coughs> Listen, date. Listen, bowling is bowling's lit. lit, man. What date would you cook for a girl then? Um, if I was trying to make my girlfriend. Yeah. That's it. Realistically, if oh, I only saw at it... that stage, couple months Yeah, in. yeah, yeah. It, like, it's got to be that there's... I see something that you've got that is actually enticing me. But right now, I don't feel like I really have time for a girlfriend. Of course, it's nice having someone there because... I've. I'm a relationship type of guy, like I like being in a relationship, but it's just like right now, being in a relationship with someone is only gonna hold me back. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, because it it's makes just sense. like I've now got to think about another person before I do anything else. So have you ever, have you actually ever cooked for a girl? And what was her reaction if you had? I cooked for my ex. Okay. <laughs> and she became my girl. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> since I've been out, I've not cooked for a single John. You haven't cooked for nope. a, a single girl? Gal don't want to get. Gal say they want to get cooked for, and just want to take back shot. Like Gal as bad as man, even probably even worse. With social media and TikTok as well, I feel like women no. have learnt to approach men the way men have been Hungry. approaching women. Like Tongues yeah, out. women, women are ready. Like yeah, they go they, for what they want, man. Do you? Like what's your type? I don't really have a specific type. Okay, but what interests you? Like chefs. I, I like a man that can cook. Okay, cool. I like a man that's taller than me. Okay. I like a man that has a sense of humour but understands that he won't be the funniest person. Okay, why? Because yeah. you feel like you're the funniest? Because I am. Okay. And I will be. So I can't be with someone that's like... You know when you walk into a party and he's hugging every girl in the party? But, but that guy might just be a popular guy. He might have thrown parties before. He might have been... He might have been... He might have went church with them. Not church! When you, you walk into a party and the girl's like, oh my God, hey, kill me, but kill essentially, me, no, kill me now, but essentially, kill me but, dead. But essentially, you've got to look at it like this. If you want a specific type of guy, yeah. that comes with that territory. Not always It, it though, does though, like, darling, man. Like, well, I don't know about, about that. Like, if I walk into a party... You're going to get that, oh my God, hey. Yeah, because... Of course, you love it. That's not really. You don't like I'm, it? I'm, I'm past loving it. Like, it's, it's like, it's not, it's just like, yeah, it just comes with the territory. Like, you just gotta accept it. If I, if I approach a girl, yeah, that's in the industry and I'm thinking, cool, this girl's sexy, I wanna take it seriously, but and we go out together, of course she's gonna get man out her neck. No, but that's, do you know what? I feel like there's a difference. There's a difference though, because I feel like there's certain men that are, people will approach them because they know who they are, but there's certain men that are just friendly with everyone. You're not anyone. So you're not in the public eye. But what's, you're just what's a wrong friendly. with being friendly, though? What's wrong with being friendly? I feel friendly? like girls understand what I mean. Okay, no, but I'm a friendly guy. No, but it's not I just friends about... friends with everyone. It's okay to be friendly, but when a guy so is too problem? friendly, you understand. When you're too friendly, when you're too friendly to the like point I'm, where a girl... I'm gonna need to drop you home back to Woolwich and anything no, fucking... Like, when a girl can misconstrue what your intentions are, you're too friendly. And I've, I've seen that a couple of times. Do you know what I mean? Like, you can... I'm not, I'm not one of those girls that will say, you can't hug another girl. Of course you can, but... Do you know what it is, yeah? I'll tell you one thing, yeah? Sorry, I'm coming off topic here, but I, 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 I was in trouble, yeah? So I hope everyone was saying, yeah. Are you serious? 
right. And then, and then I clocked it, bro. You need to do a one hand stiff arm. You have to do the oh, one arm oh, hug. Show the thing. Oh, I'm on a, I'm on a, hey, bro. Yeah, bro. no, you need to <laughs> give a little headlock thing. I'm on a, hey, bro, like, you know, like, but you know, it's, it's the position of how they're hugging you. If you look at it like this, if I go to hug a girl, yeah, and she automatically goes to my shoulders up here like this. Just a shoulder in her chest, bro. What it's, do you mean? It's, 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 <laughs> no, it's, it's, only, it's only here that I'm hugging down, you know that? No, now, but you can, you can hug here. You're choosing you know, to hug. I've got long arms. Fuck off. What is that? I've got, got long, long arms. arms. What are your turn-offs? Give me two, give me two, give me two. Um... I don't know, hygiene, oh my. You know what is, I've got a big nose, so I smell a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah? I'm keeping it 100. I can sniff everything. I can smell the whole room. Like, respectfully, I've got a very, very sharp nose. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. if I smell like... An odour, that's not correct. Odour, breath, yeah, yeah. armpits, nani, you're done. I ain't linking you again. So what is your end goal? Like, what's... In life? What are you, yeah, I'm career goal? Prime Minister. And, right. Okay, but... Do you actually want to be? Do you know what? Cool. It sounds mad, but cool. Here's my trajectory now. I'm doing this cooking thing. So my next big thing that I'm going to do after I do is hospitality on strike. Because mm -hmm. I feel like hospitality, the pay is very underrated. Once I target that, then I'm then going to turn on to the prison system. Because I feel like I can take people on from jail like I was speaking about earlier. Yeah. Once I target prison system over here, I'm going to then target prison system in America. Once I target America, I'm then gonna come back to England, do the, be like the MP of hospitality, and then somehow try to work my way into M Prime Minister. And that sounds mad. No, no, you, know, you could do it though. If you're but, saying you could do it, 100%, I believe you. Who's your biggest rival? Like, would you, uh, to be fair, you've said that there isn't really rival, anyone out there. No, so there's there no, is no one. Oh, I'm on Big Zoo though, I'm on him. You're on him? Yeah, I'm on him, I'm on him. Because that's only because you've got what I want. You're yeah, the big, yeah, yeah. essentially, you're the biggest person that works within the industry kind of thing that does the chefing thing. Yeah. So essentially, otherwise from that, I'm not anyone else. So Big Zoo, Big Zoo's kind of the only person that's out there that's doing... Otherwise from that, they're all washed. It's not create enemies, you know? No, but respectfully... Respectfully. No one's not on man's level. Like, unless someone's gonna come out of the woods on a fine dining thing, I'm smoking, man. All right, so what's next for Natty Can Cook? What are people... I'm gonna start my own YouTube channel. Lovely. Like, I wanna get people on there. Um, cooking with me, so I want to do tutorials. Then I want to get like, obviously like, industry people like rappers, presenters, whatever on there, like cooking with me. Then I want to do my own podcast on there called Let Me Tell Your Story. Okay, yeah, branding, Talk branding. Obviously starting up with like, literally a story, then it goes into other aspects of life from there. And um, yeah, just, just see where the, where the world takes me, man. Like, obviously it's been a mad, seven months, when I get to April, that'll be a, a year, then I can see the cool, my year progression, see where I've ended up, and then just see where it ends up, man. Well, Natty, unfortunately, we've come to the end. Um, Lovely to meet you. You too, this has been really fun. I hope you've had fun. Say again. Of course. So, we're gonna do our reveal now. Okay. If I don't like what I see, you're not seeing me again. <laughs> no, wait, well, let me Ooh. see, let me see what you... It shows, you're taking the fucking piss. <laughs> what the fuck is that? He made me look like a Roald Dahl character. Do you know how nuts that is? I just can't draw, babe. Look at my eyes. I look like a fucking sewer monster. This is Look, that's monster. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> I actually gave him some dignity. It actually looks racist. Yeah, it looks racist. That's what it's That looks so racist. Look at your little chain. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. I actually made you look decent. I like the boot cuts. Safe, man. I put a lot of detail into that. I like the boot cuts, honestly, though. Like, do you like Couple my good fit in there with, man, man. <laughs> Kyle, what do you like about his drawing? Fuck all, man. Yeah, I do not like it. I don't like anything about it. Okay, I don't I like it. I feel like the chain really brings out her eyes. Do you know what? The chain was really nice. There's a lot of nice detail in the chain. It w I think it was quite accurate to the actual colour of my chain as well, so he did really well with that. I think you I don't know what the fuck that is. You got a little chin. Not, not, not like a double chin, but you got a little, like, Okay, do you know what? I take it all back. Scrap the picture. I'm sorry. <laughs> we finished our portraits. Um, somehow, Natty was able to embody racism with his. I wasn't. Um, so... Do you know what it is? Go on. I'm going to practice my drawing for the next time we have this okay. episode. Alright, cool.
Thank you, I'd appreciate Six that. Six months, we come back, we do it again. I actually feel like I'm going to have sleep paralysis because of that, but we're going to keep going. Um, these guys are going to vote on who has the best one. I think we already know who it is. Thank you. Why? Why? Come on, man. Vote for me, man. Pity points, pity points. He got pity points. Got pity points. Who, 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 who else voted for Nighty? My guy. Are you taking the piss out of me, Jordan? It's not funny. Oh, she vote for Listen, not, there's too many comedians <laughs> in the room, yeah? And vote on accuracy. <laughs> vote on accuracy. So the production team clearly. Mm. Voted for the only person that Nighty can vote for. Yeah, that's true. Okay, let's see. 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 Was eight it? And a half. Th I think it was three. Eight and a half. I think it was three. Yeah, you can take this home. I'm not taking that home. Oh, thank you, darling. You're welcome. I actually might take it home as well. I think you should hang it up on your wall. What do you think, guys? That's so accurate. <laughs> <laughs> but <clears throat> well, hold don't, it up next don't, to you. Hold don't, don't, up next don't, to you. We're not doing that. We're not. Your eyes have even changed its colour right now. Go on. No, sir. All right, guys, well, that has concluded our first episode of Campaign With Me. So thank you guys for joining. And thank you to our lovely guest, Nighty Can Cook, as well. Can we get a round of applause? <laughs> Make sure you guys tune in next time. I've been your host, Kyra Gray. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.